real quick, I don't think we're talking about it today. What did you think about that USDT CTO's thread? Did you see that he kind of came out exposing the light on all those hedge fund managers trying to short Tether and how they've just been resilient and uh, keep plugging along, reducing their commercial paper, reducing their Chinese commercial paper exposure, mm -hmm. eventually going to get commercial paper exposure to zero, they said pretty soon. Yep. Uh, did you happen to see that? I didn't see the thread from the, you said CTO or CFO? Yeah, I think it's a CTO. Yeah, no, I didn't I see that one, but I did see some of the FUD about the hedge fund shorting it. And, you know, it, first reaction was like, oh, this, this is classic bear market bottom indicator. You know, when they run out the Tether FUD, like, oh, Tether's yeah. going to crash and all of crypto is going to go with it. That's generally a pretty good bottom indicator. However, yep. what we just saw with Terra and a lot of these other big institutional kind of crypto platforms and products, you know, it's hitting a little different now after watching Terra collapse to say like, oh, definitely Tether will never collapse. But I do have a lot of confidence in it. They do tend to match what they're supposed to match. Yep. So, you know. Yeah, they've cashed out billions, I billions. Think 16 billion yeah. over the past 30 days. If you just go to Twitter and type in Tether CTO, you'll see a lot of talk about it. Uh, Lark Davis uh, talking about it. Uh, Paolo Arduino, I think is how you say it. And uh, yeah, he came out and said, it's a coordinated attack by these mm -hmm. head funds looking to short sell uh, the dollar pay crypto asset. So, hey, they've been resilient. They're coming after them, guns a blazing. And what do they do? They just, they shrug it off. You know, it's it's uh, like Homelander or, or Superman. It just bounces right off. So I Tether think getting shorted, but it seems like they're doing all right. Yeah, and that was my first reaction, too, when I saw hundreds of millions. I was like, well, you're going to need a lot more than just a few hundred million if you're trying to break Tether. But I think it's important to note, you know, this is a clear attack vector that we've seen now multiple times. This isn't an outlier. This isn't just a random collapse of a protocol or a project. Yeah. Big money is this intentionally is collapsing these projects in order to pick up assets, distressed assets, cheap. And it's a tactic we've seen in the past, and it shouldn't necessarily surprise us. And in a lot of ways, it can create an opportunity for us as long as we're picking up prices when they push them down. Uh, yeah, and I, I think you kind of bring up a good point, you know, with all this stuff that's happened in the past. This is way bigger than anything that would have happened. This is way bigger. If Tether goes down, way bigger than Mt. Gox. If Tether goes down, way bigger than Terra Luna Collapse. Way bigger than three ACs being liquidated. Way bigger than Celsius freezing withdrawals. That would be, uh, may I would say, the biggest crypto event to date since the invention of Bitcoin. So it'd be very, very bad if, uh, you know, that that's a quite the big domino. That's that's a skyscraper falling mm -hmm. over, not a domino. And that's something you're going to hear that it will crash and it will take all of crypto with it and take Bitcoin to zero. <laughs> and if you do hear that, don't let it scare you too much. If it happens, just buy a lot of Bitcoin.